Welcome back to all our dear televiewers and subscribers of Teletroan. Let us continue our discussion regarding the mole concept. Let us begin in the relationships among number of moles, mass, and number of particles. This diagram explains the computations about the mole concept. We can use this diagram to find for the number of mole, number of particle, which can be atoms or molecules, and mass. This diagram shows that number of mole times Avogadro's number is equal to the number of particle, which can be atoms or molecules. And then, number of particle divided by the Avogadro's number is equal to the number of mole. Mass divided by molar mass times Avogadro's number is equal to the number of particle. And number of particle divided by Avogadro's number times molar mass is equal to its mass. Whereas, mass divided by molar mass is equal to the number of mole. And number of mole times molar mass is equal to the mass of the substance. Let's have examples. Number one, determine the number of moles present in 50.0 grams of glucose or C6H12O6. Here's the solution. Compute for the molar mass it will serve as the conversion factor to compute for the number of moles present in 50 grams of glucose. C. Or carbon is equal to 6 times 12, 12.01 gram, grams per mole, is equal to 72.06 grams per mole. Hydrogen is equal to 12 times 1.01 gram per mole, which is equal to 12.12 .12 grams per mole. On the other hand, oxygen is equal to 6 times 16 grams per mole is equal to 96 grams per mole. Adding all the molecular uh, mass or the molar masses of each compound, it is equal to 180.18 grams per mole. We will use the formula number of moles is equal to mass in grams divided by the molar mass. It is equal to 50 grams based on the problem divided by 180.18 grams per mole and then the number of moles is equal to 0 0.278 mole let's try this uh, second number aspartame or c14 h18 n205 is a synthetic table sugar substitute used in food and drinks if a food product needs 0 0.25 gram of c14 h18 n205 to sweeten the queenie cupcake and you ate this food product. The question is, how many molecules of aspartame have you eaten? Compute for the molar mass. It will serve as the conversion factor to compute for the number of moles. So our molar mass is equal to 294.34 grams per mole. 0 0.25 gram of C14H18N205 times 1 mole of it divided by 294.34 grams of it is equal to 0 0.00085 mole C14H18N205. Now calculate for the number of molecules using Avogadro's number. 0 0.00085 mole C14H18N205 times 6.02 times 10 to, to the 23rd molecules of C14H18N205 or aspartame divided by 1 mole of it is equal to 5.1 times 10 raised to 20 molecules of C14, H18, and 205. The other method in solving this problem is by using the diagram presented earlier. This problem requires us to convert from the number of grams to the, to the number of molecules or simply from mass to the number of particles or molecules. The formula that we will use is Number of molecules is equal to mass divided by molar mass times Avogadro's number. 0 0.25 gram divided by 294.34 grams per mole times 0 0.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So, 73.59 mole times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Our final answer is number of molecules is equal to 5.11 times 10 raised to 20. Number 3. 
paraffin which has the chemical formula C22H46 is a wax used in candle making. During combustion, a 20 gram candle produces 1.42 mole of carbon dioxide. How many molecules of carbon dioxide are present in the atmosphere after using the candle? To solve for the number of molecules of carbon dioxide a 20 gram candle emitted after combustion, multiply the number of moles equal to 20.0 gram. Multiply the number of moles equal to 20.0 grams of C22H46 by the Avogadro's number. So we have 1.42 mole of carbon dioxide times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules divided by 1 mole of carbon dioxide is equal to 8.55 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of carbon dioxide. The other method in solving this problem is by using the diagram I have presented earlier. This problem requires us to convert number of moles to number of molecules. The formula that we will use is number of molecules is equal to number of moles times Avogadro's number. So it is equal to 1.42 moles of carbon dioxide times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Our final answer is number of moles is equal to 8.55 times 10 to the 23rd. Applying the mole concept can be useful quantitative tool in daily life. Understanding this concept gives you an idea of how many molecules of vitamins and or medicines are introduced into our body. Given the mass, you also have a clearer idea of how many molecules of pollutants are produced and released in the environment due to human activities and even though your unaided eyes cannot see them. Now let us test if you have learned something today. Let us complete the table with the needed information. Okay, let's answer. For carbon dioxide, the representative particle is molecule, mass is equal to 110.03, and number of particles is equal to 1.505 times 10 raised to 24. For gold, the molar mass is equal to 197, mass is equal to 197 also, and number of particles is equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to 23. For glucose, 180.18, Representative particle is molecule and number of moles is equal to 2. For calcium fluoride, 78.08. Mass is 234.24. And number of particles is equal to 1.806 times 10 raised to 24. And our nitrogen gas, the representative particle is a molecule. And number of moles is equal to 5. And the number of particle is 13.010 times 10 raised to 24. Thank you for studying science with me. Once again, I'm your Sir Randolph and Cruz of PG Chrysostomo Integrated School. Keep safe and love science always.